everybody, my name is Brandy and welcome to the Versatile Horsemanship YouTube channel. Today I thought it would be good to show you a couple of different ways that I like to tie my horses and explain to you why I use each different style of tying. Today is a gorgeous day at the ranch. The sun just came out. It is windy, but oh gosh, it's just so beautiful outside. The sky is such a pretty color blue and the snow is, makes everything look nice and fresh. We can just kind of forget that there's any horse poop buried underneath that snow. It's wonderful. But here comes the whole gang. They're all coming to say hi. Even the little ones. Cute little ponies. When I tie my horses, I prefer to use a bowline knot. With a bowline knot, there's enough bites in the rope where if the horse should sit back and pull, the rope is not going to firmly tighten on itself. You'll always be able to get the knot undone. So this is a knot that I always work on teaching my students, and this is always our goal. This is the end result. We want to make sure that people can tie the bowline knot. So with a bowline knot, I have a couple of different ways of doing it. Hi, kitty. So basically, you want to take this side of it is considered the lead. This is what's attached to the horse. And the rest of this is called the tail. So you want to take the lead side, making sure not to get your fingers stuck inside of this loop at all. So we made a nine. We're going to come up the center. Take your tail. <laughs> Take your tail up the center. Now you're gonna come underneath your lead and then back down the hole. So basically what you'll see here when you look at it is you have one complete circle, okay? One complete circle here. And then you'll see you've got a loop right here. So, and then all you do, just pull it tight and that will stay tight no matter what and she cannot physically untie this at all and if she should sit back or pull on this the nice thing is all I have to do is get the back side of my knot here and fold this down and it will all loosen up. Now I have a couple of different variations that I use with the bullet knot for instance this lead rope is 12 feet long so I tie it a little differently than when I use it 8 to 10 foot long um, lead rope. So with this one, I'm going to take it down through the hole, my tail through the hole, and I'm going to make what looks like a nine in my lead rope. So this part here is the lead, this part over here is the tail. And I'm going to make a loop in here that looks like a nine. And now, since this lead rope is so long, I'm going to take a loop up the hole like this, and now I'm going to come underneath my lead and then back down through that hole. Now, keep in mind, since there is a loop in here, if pulled on hard enough, if the tail is pulled on hard enough, this can come untied. So, this particular pony, she loves to play with lead ropes, and she would untie herself given the opportunity. So, what I can do is I can daisy chain this by running this through, running the loops through, and then at the very end, I just kind of tuck the tail in. That'll prevent a horse from being able to untie themselves. Um, another thing that I can do is I can just put a basic half hitch around my loop and that'll hold it tight as well. So now she won't be able to untie herself. When I have young riders or brand new students who are unable to tie a bowline knot, I allow them to use the blocker tie ring until they learn the bowline knot. And how you, turn, how you use a blocker tie ring is you're going to take your lead rope and you just put a bend in it. Um, I, I go about a foot and a half to two feet away from the horse's face or however long I want to tie my horse. And you just put it through the hole and there's a magnet on the back side and it just flips up. So for this particular horse, doing it just like this would be fine, especially if she has a hay bag. She's just not going to go anywhere. She's very respectful with tying. Um, but if I had a horse where maybe um, I needed a smidge more, I would flip this rope, the tail of my rope back behind the back side. And that would just make it so it's a little stronger because with it just flipped in there one time, it will pull. So I do have two horses who I will not tie with these with my students 
because the horses have learned that all they have to do is just sort of pull their head against it. They just pull against it and it'll loosen just a little bit each time until they're all the way to the end of the rope and they'll just get loose. So it is, it is not a practical thing for me to use for those horses, but it is just fine for my really quiet lesson horses that stand tied really nicely. So that's, that's the only time I really use this tie ring. Occasionally I'll tie my horses using a quick release. So the only time I really use my quick release knot is um, when I put my horses in the stock trailer and I have to tie them from the outside of it. It's just a, as a, at a funny angle where it gets difficult to tie a bowline knot, so the quick release is just easier. Um, and then it makes it really fast for when I'm taking the horses out. But basically, I just run my rope through or around whatever it is that I'm tying to. Now I'm going to make a loop. I take that loop and I pass it behind my lead rope and then I'm going to come back down the hole and pull it tight. You want to make sure you pull it tight otherwise it'll just come untied. Now this particular pony would have herself untied in about two seconds. So I can do a couple of different things um, to fix this. I can do a basic half hitch in my lead rope, put it around that little loop, pull it tight and that'll prevent her from being able to untie that. Um, another thing that I could do, if I didn't want to do a half hitch, is I could daisy chain this rope. So when I daisy chain, I just take it through here, and I just keep making a loop all the way down. And at the very end, I want to tuck my tail in, because even though it's daisy chained, she can still pull on it. It'll untie the whole thing. Now, something I don't like about using this quick release knot is when you get to the end and you pull on it, it sort of pops and some horses will throw their head up. Um, and I don't like anything that's gonna cause my horse to sit back, especially when I'm trying to untie them. Um, so the only time I really use this is like I said, in my trailer or um, just to do it up really fast or depending on what kind of angle I'm at. So that's really the only time I will use that. Another thing about with doing the quick release is if the horse should sit back, they will pull it so tight that you'll have to cut your rope. Well everyone, I hope you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed seeing a few of the different knots that I use on a regular basis in my barn. If you have any comments, please be sure to share below and um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you would like to see more in the future. I have a lot of fun new videos that I'll be posting each week and um, if you have any ideas for new videos, please feel free to leave that in the comments below. Have a great day!